History is the Autobiography of a Madman, a quote credited to Alexander Ivanovich Herzen, a Russian writer and thinker from the 19th century, whose quote is intermittently used on a podcast I adore, Dan Carlin's Hardcore History. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> uh, highly recommended listen. He's covered World War I, the rise of Christianity and Germanic tribes, Mongolian conquests, and recently he's talked about the uh, Achaemenid, Achaemenid <laughs> Empire. Great stuff, and I'll leave links down below to check out. Do it. Check it out. Check it out. Before delving into this video's word, I have a picture to go over the previous ramblings to clarify and establish the platform to jump into the next word. So bear with me on that. <laughs> to note, I'm not infallible, much to my chagrin. I will make mistakes and welcome any comments, especially pointing out any of these errors that I, I, I make. I make a lot of them. <laughs> so, for example, looking at this image, I had mentioned the line back to DS, the D-Y-E-U-S, in the previous video. However, Deus and Tiwaz or Tyr seems to originate from Deus, which, though related to Dios, Deus is its own kind of word. So, yeah. Uh, for example, Deus is where we get the Latin word for deity. And that is Deus. While this dies or dies or dies pitar means sky father or shining father, and this leads to the path of this video's word. So that wonderful word of those Proto-Indo-European people went west to eventually be a part of our own, you know, current lexicon. Uh, however, this word, this this whole this shining father, this god, this. Diaspitar also reaches the northern areas of India during, uh, in the Vedic period, which uh, they kind of have widened it a little bit more. So it's around the 1700 BCE up to about, I want to say the 400, 300 BC, which the Vedas were said to have been written. And what are the Vedas? Well, the Vedas are kind of known as the oldest known scriptures of Hinduism. Well, one particular collection we are actually going to scratch the surface of, and that is the Rig Veda. Now, the Rig Veda is a collection of hymns, Vedic Sanskrit hymns, more precisely, uh, about praising deities such as Agni, Indra, and there's a lot of them. <laughs> Um, it also talks about cosmology, pondering the origin of the universe, the qualities of God, or like what what is God, and other things concerning people. Uh, also, within this within this collection is a couple mentionings to our homeboy um, Dias, except for there's a bit of a variance to it, and it's uh, Dias Pita. So instead of uh, D-Y-E-U-S, it's a D-Y-A-U-S. But it's, it's still Shining Father. Okay, show fans, how many of you have heard of Shiva, the Destroyer, the Transformer? Mm, probably a lot of you. Um, maybe not, but uh, odds are you may have first heard of Shiva through a Final Fantasy game. Nothing wrong with that, but I do want to, I guess clarify if if that is the the only reference that you do uh, that people do know of is that uh, Shiva is a male deity married to Uma also referred to as Parvati and Shiva means the auspicious one in Sanskrit or the red one in Tamil however the thing this is where things start to get a little fuzzy and Shiva can also be used as an adjective uh, that uh, the adjective meaning kind or auspicious, which is used to describe many of the gods in the Rig Veda. Most notably for this video, and due to their great similarities to the point that they're used interchangeably with one another, is referring to the god Rudra. Mm, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I've totally built this whole thing up as a reference to an obscure JRPG, Treasure of Rudra or also known as Treasure of the Rudras, which is a game 
that uses the Kala Chakra or the time being cyclical and repeating, the Wheel of Time idea, as well as borrowing from Buddhism and Hinduism in its story. Thanks, Claire. <laughs> Back to Rudra. <laughs> okay, game aside, Rudra has a few different meanings, and to be honest, not quite sure which one is more correct uh, than the other, if any of them are correct. That's... <laughs> that's the that's, to me this is one of the cool things about trying to figure out the the history of of words and stuff is that there's a due to the you know due to different reasons and whatnot there's a darkness that we can't um you know just sift out and we're just stuck with ramblings or or guesswork so a few different meanings uh, for this god of the storm or wind and hunt. Uh, he can, this god can be referred to as the Roar or the Howler. Uh, some suggest that the, the name Rudra means the Red One or the Brilliant brilliant One. Others go further still to the Wild One or the Fierce God. He is also referred to as the Archer, and a symbol for him is the Arrow. In certain contexts, Rudra can also refer to the number 11. So, <laughs> all over the map. Now I kind of want to go into a little bit of the the peculiarities or the interesting points of Rudra. And part of that has to do with Shiva. Shiva is seen as the great destroyer, but also the, the transformer. And this idea carries back to Rudra. And Rudra is... <laughs> he's really scary. Scary, scary. So Rudra's is frightening so much so that in his hymns it is best to just keep him happy and stay away just stay away um he's he's also said to spread disease and be able to cure illnesses too and this kind of duality is important as shiva possesses it as well and for as terrifying as rudra is or at least is is labeled to like oh just just make him happy and just don't don't get him don't don't make him angry don't make him angry um but you know as terrifying as he's seen he's also ref sometimes referred to as the one who can kill the forces of darkness which you know with his great bow and arrows he's able to shoot rays of light which dance across the sky and fall to the earth <laughs> that sort of thing aside it's just a you know you have this duality that's not just with the word or with the god but it's it's carried on from rudra to shiva and so much so that rudra and shiva are used interchangeably this also continues on and i'll i'll go into that a little bit more mm, so like that other connection that i'm referring to is that rudra this ferocious god is connected in the rig veda to the devourer of all things on earth, the purifier of all things he touched, shared origin or uh, what is referred to as a cognate of the Latin word ignis, where we get the word ignite, the Vedic god of fire, Agni. That's right, this guy is really important, uh, very <laughs> important, and those descriptions that I labeled are the same, well, you know, that's what they refer to him as in the Rig Veda is that he gets this curse that uh, he will devour all things with fire and he gets a little bit of a nuance to the curse he, he gets, I don't want to say blessed but he, there's a nuance to the curse which means that he will purify all the things he touches so once again we have this duality who, who can exactly say, I mean this is but this is in the Rig Veda, it mentions that Rudra is Agni, and Agni is Rudra, or you know, at least Agni's fearful form. Uh, he has this five-headed, five-limbed form that is considered beyond all comprehensions, and is called like Agni Kayana, and this is kind of referred to as uh, the Rudra form of Agni. <laughs> Imagine it being like a Super Saiyan form of a, of the Hindu deity. <laughs> you know, super badass, fire god, Super Saiyan. But it's still pretty cool. 
<laughs> anywho, uh, also interesting to note is the number five with that. So not you know this five-headed, five-limbed creature, as that is a holy number in regards to Shiva and the five mantras. One being the Isana, and Rudra is referred to as Isana of the world or Father of the world in the Rig Veda. So all of that kind of like comes together, mixes and matches, and you get Rudra the Howler buried in language, comes to us under the, the guise or the form of Shiva the Destroyer. That's the episode, and uh, if you liked this kind of format, if it's easy to follow, let me know. If you prefer me to just ramble and wave my hands around like a damn fool, let me know. I hope you guys like this. Uh, I do apologize for kind of talking a bit hushed <laughs> because part of it's that I'm, I'm I'm recording this at three in the morning right now, so it yeah, it's a little bit mm, difficult for me to use normal normal inside voice. <laughs> have to use like normal inside voice at the witching hour kind of thing you know by the pricking of my thumb something wicked this way comes <laughs> um that aside i i hope you guys enjoyed this rambling because <laughs> that's what it was to for lack of any other reason i picked the word rudra not so much for the meaning um but also what it encompassed because the meaning isn't just isn't def definitively defined as just this oh this is where it came from kind of thing there's a whole bunch of different ones that that excites me but it's also the fact that it was in a game excited me as well because to me i think there's a lot of times when game a lot of times games will use kernels of culture or truths or perceptions within their games that we generally don't uh, explore further not not always the case, obviously, but I do feel that it is a seven to eight times out of ten we do, we don't. And this is one of the instances that I was like, "What the hell is a Rudra?" <laughs> click 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 click. That's what a Rudra is. And this was like a few years ago when I first heard of the game and stuff. And to find out that it it had this connection with Shiva and it goes to back to. To possibly, uh, well, not even possibly, but I mean, in the Rig Veda, you know, mentioned as Agni and all this kind of stuff, and that Rudra's this badass, frightening thing, this god with braided hair who, you know, at one point, in reference to being Agni, the Agni Rudra steps from a pillar of fire and tells Brahma that he's an asshole, and I, I think it's Vishnu. I could be wrong, but he tells Vishnu you know, that oh, you're you know you're you're on your way to being a god, but Brahma, you're a dick, kind of thing. It's 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 really weird, but it's cool because it's it is it's like the broken telephone game where we can't fix it because we can't go back and ask these people what did this mean, kind of thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this ramblings. Uh, if there's anything you guys would recommend or whatnot, let me know. And hopefully I'll have another video uh, out about this before too horribly long. Not certain what word yet to choose, but there's plenty of them out there. So thanks for listening, guys, and have a good one.